chronic cough, you want to blow dry it away. So the winter's here, allergies, at least here in Texas, super severe, allergies starting, and it's causing people to cough a lot, right? And then we immediately think, oh, it's COVID, oh, it's COVID. It's, it's actually just, whether it's the weather, the cold weather, or allergies causing your, uh, your, your respiratory tract to get inflamed. So you want to use, you know, a tool that you use every day. You can just blow dry, and it helps uh, decrease your cough. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna blow dry your chest, right? So blow dry your chest. So blow dry your chest. Obviously, don't burn your chest. And then you're gonna probably need us. You're gonna need help. You're gonna get someone to blow dry. See, blow dry your upper back. Okay, your upper back, like right in here, upper back. Okay, so the you're gonna get you're gonna get the blow dryer in the front of your lungs, in the back of your lungs. And what is that going to do? That's going to help decrease inflammation. It's gonna help. Uh, arrest your cough, but what what are the two causes? The two causes most likely of your cough, right? Yes, there's many causes, but the most common cause is one: your respiratory tract, right? Your respiratory tract usually should have a pa airway like this big, but it gets swollen, so the airway becomes like this, it becomes small. Which lack of oxygen is going to cause you to cough as well and breathe heavily, and your heart rate to go up. The second thing is if you have allergies, you're gonna have mucus. Your lungs gonna generate mucus, your sinuses generate mucus, it, it may, the sinus generates mucus, it drips to the back of your throat, and you're like, <laughs> and maybe you got a tickle in your throat, and you're like, <laughs> it, it's just all these things, right? Allergic reaction. Swelling can cause a tickle in your throat, drippage can cause a tickle in your throat. Either way, it's going down into your lungs and it's causing you to cough. And you know, besides an inconvenience, you, you can barely breathe. Um, so this is a way to, by in, using a blow driver, you can increase blood circulation to here, to your lung area, which will decrease inflammation, which will increase the passageway, and it will loosen up the mucus. Now here's the important part. When it loosens up the mucus, you're temporarily gonna cough more. Okay, so don't be alarmed that when you do the blow dryer on your front and the back, you cough more. That's because the mucus is getting loosened up. The only way to get mucus out of your lungs is here. You got to spit it out, right? Or you swallow it down. I pref but preferably you want to spit it out. So you want to spit out that mucus. So temporarily you're going to cough more. It's going to be more of a productive cough, which is a good thing. After that, when you cough up most of the mucus, then your cough will start to decrease, right? Now, this is not gonna solve the immune problem. It's not gonna cure your cough. It's gonna help alleviate it temporarily, right? So it's something you can do every single morning. How long do you do it? You blow dry your chest, okay? You blow dry it until it feels warm. Now you can put a hand on your chest while you blow dry it to make sure you don't burn yourself, right? You're gonna need someone to help you blow dry the, your upper back, right? And same thing, blow dry until they can feel that your upper back is warm. Once it is warm, that's enough, okay? And so you can do this as many times as you want. Obviously, don't burn yourself, don't be stupid, but give this a try and see that your cough starts to get you know, decreased and you'll be able to start to breathe, which is most important, get that oxygen, all right? So follow me here for more of these awesome uh, biohacking tips.